dos, uno. Okay, let's go. Okay, so surface area, cylinders and cones. Okay, so let's get started. So for any cylinder that you have, uh, if you wanna find the surface area, then what we need to do is we have our base in here. All right, and we have our height, okay, as we're going through, okay, so that's what we have there. And now we're interested in the surface area, not the volume, okay? So volume is gonna be a different video, um, so you'll see that. Now, if you want the surface area, so we wanna know the whole cylinder wrapping, and then the base, and then the top. So the base and the top, so these two are rather simple because these ones are just two circles that we have. So we have the radius R, and for that, what we would have is, so this is for the bottom, and then this is for the top. So we know those, so that is pi r squared and pi r squared. So that is, we can add those up, so that's gonna be two pi r squared when you're adding them up. That gives you the top and the bottom. Now, what about the wrapping all the way around? So the interesting is thing that we have is we know the height of a cylinder. Now let's cut it, okay? So let's imagine, let's take away the bottom, let's take away the top so we just have the wrapping and let's cut it straight up, okay? Along the H all the way up. If we do that and then we unwrap it, right? So when we unroll it, what you're going to have is you're going to have just basically a rectangle. All right, because you're gonna take, you can take that rectangle and then wrap it back up, okay? Or, you know, touch it back up so that you have something like this. Now, this is our height. So we know that, so I'm gonna copy this down. So paste, all right, so this is our height here that we have. And now, for a rectangle, all we need to know is, okay, so what is that base? But the base is just unwrapping of that circle right? So it is the, the actual circumference of the entire circle. So because we've unwrapped it, so let me change that back here. So since you unwrap it, so basically what you're doing is, okay, you're going around the circumference, okay? So that is the circumference there, and that is this distance right here that we're going into, all right? So that's what we have there. And that well, is nothing else but two pi r, because that is this circumference of a circle. So now you know what the area here is. So the area inside is simply your base times your height. So this is gonna be two pi r multiplied by the h. And now if you wanna know the entire surface area, then you're just going to add your top and bottom, plus this right here, all right? So if you're gonna be adding this up, so the total area, so the area total is equal to, so this is gonna be two pi r, so that's coming from there, pi r squared, plus two pi r h. Now notice we have quite a lot of things in common there, so two pi r in particular, so we have two and pi, and then we have r in both. All right, so if I'm gonna take that out from the first one, so two pi r, so I'm gonna factor that out. So all I will have left is just the r, because the r times the r is r squared. And then from the other one, all I have is your h. So notice that it's just two pi r, which is your circumference, and then you're just adding r plus h and that is your total surface area of that cylinder. And you can now use this, all right, to calculate any surface area that you like. So you know your R, your radius, and you know your H that you carry. So here's a drawing of a cone. I will give you what the surface area is. For those who will be interested, I'll try to show you where that formula comes from, uh, but how do we create these cones? 
All right, so how do we create these cones? So first, let's maybe do that before I do anything else. So this particular cone, okay, so the way that it is created, okay, so if you imagine, so if you have, if you have a circle, okay, so I'm not redrawing the base, okay, so this is not the same base as that base R. I'll show you where that R comes from and then what the S, which is really the slant, comes from as well. So to create a cone, you can imagine, so let's say I'll put a, so this is the center, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut away a piece here. So I'm gonna take, so let's say some piece over here, okay, here, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna be cutting away this, this smaller piece away. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So basically I kinda prepared this, all right, let me arrange it so that you can see it. Okay, so that's the circle. This is the piece that I'm gonna be cutting away. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I'm going to say here, and just so that, let's match it up. So this radius, so this radius right here, that is your S, okay? So this is the same S as right here. So that's the slant. I'm just trying to create this cone for you so that you can see it, how it comes about. So that's my S. So it's basically the radius of the, uh, the big circle that I'm creating this cone out of. Now, so there you go. That's all that we have left behind. All right, so this is it. Now to create the cone, all we do is, okay, we basically, okay, fold it or kind of round it up so that now we close this thing up. Now, of course, it's not gonna be perfect, but you can kind of see it. So there you go, so here's your cone, all right? So that's your cone. Now, of course, the more we would cut, okay, you know, the, like if I started cutting more and more, you would notice that this cone, okay, would start getting more and more, all right, looking like, okay, so a cone like that. All right, so that's what you have. Notice that's your base. Now, your, um, base there, so this piece at the bottom, okay, so this all the way around here, that has obviously, because it's a circle now, it's formed a circle for us, so that has the radius R, all right, okay, so we have a radius R, and this is the S, which is the slant, which is indeed the kind of slant, which is the height, like this, it's not a straight up height, it's, it's the slant itself. So now you kind of know where this cylinder comes from, all right? Now this is gonna be important for us, okay? So in a second. So for those who are just interested in the surface area, so the surface area is equal to, so obviously it's going to be the base, so pi r squared, so that's the surface of the base, and then we need to know what the uh, cone shape is like. Now that cone shape is actually pi r s. So you can, you know, you can factor out the pi, you can factor out the r, and you're gonna get r plus s in here. That's the entire surface area, okay? So for those who care only about that, you're done, you can use the formula, and that's it. But I hope, okay, that you wanna find out. Now, we're very familiar with the area of a circle, but, I wanna show you now, next is, okay, where does this come from, this pi r s? So I'll continue the video here for anyone who is interested. And we're gonna to need to borrow this, okay? And I'm gonna to try to show you where that comes from once we kind of use this picture. So let me paste this back in here. So that's our s. Okay, we know that the base of the, the cone, okay, is, uh, has a radius of R, and then the slant is S. So now, if I took this original circle, so if I had this original circle, right, because all I've done is I've just basically taken this piece away and then created my cone like that. So my original circle, so I'm gonna talk about a few things. So I have my entire area, so A total, okay, of the entire circle, without anything being cut away, is equal to pi 
Now this is going to be not r, but it's going to be s squared, right? Because that is my radius. Now, the other thing is my circumference of the total is going to be 2 pi s. That's my circumference. The piece that I'm cutting away, so this piece right here that I'm removing, if I remove it, all I have left is this, right? Which is basically my cone, right? It's the area of my cone because that's what I created my cone out of. So if I know what the area of this is, I know what the surface area of that cone is. And that's what I'm going to try to show you that this is just pi r s. All right. So that this is just pi r s. So if it was just that, everyone would be okay. Oh, it's just the area of the total of this circle minus this piece, right? So minus this piece. And you're correct. It is minus this piece. All right. So now my, so what I have is, so next, okay, so let me write this out. So I have the area of the cone, okay, that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find that it's pi r s. That's what I, what I want to know. So that this area is this big piece right here. That's your cone. That's what it's made out of, this entire thing. Okay. Now, what is the circumference of the cone? All right. So now the circumference of the cone is basically this piece. All right. Okay. Because we took this piece away. Okay. So it's the circumference of that particular cone. Okay. That we have as we took this piece away. When we took this piece away, our circumference actually became, so notice, that's the base, right? So our circumference of our cone is simply, so notice the circumference there, that's the R, which is the base, the radius of the base. So we know that that is equal to 2 pi R. That is the circumference of this. It is based on the radius of that base that we have, all right? So here, so my circumference of the cone is two pi r. That's what we have there. Now, what we're doing is we're taking this piece away, all right? So this piece is being removed and now Proportionally, so we're going to use proportions because we took this piece away. Okay, so this piece is going to get removed. Okay, so now we can create a proportion. This is basically three quarters to one quarter of this, right? Because we removed this if this was a quarter or whatever fraction we are removing away. So next, okay, so what we have is we have this. We know that your circumference, all right, of the cone that we have divided by your circumference, okay, of the total, okay, so of the total, okay, so the, these, these two, these are proportional to your areas, okay, so you are proportionally, because you will remove the fraction, that fraction also gets removed from the surface area. It got removed from here. So your circumference and your areas okay, are proportionally related. So there's a proportion there that we have. Now with that proportion, okay, so if I remove this, this tells me that my circumference of the cone divided by the circumference of the total is equal to this is the area of the cone divided by the area of the total. So notice that's the proportion, total with total and cone with cone. So if I'm going to take, you know, a quarter away, then I only have three quarters left. If I'm going to take a half away, then I only have half away. And that's what you will notice that the proportion actually is. Now, we know all of these, 
So we know that the circumference of the cone is equal to 2 pi r. We know that the circumference of the total is 2 pi s. We want to find out what the area of the cone is, but we do know what the area of the total is. So that is pi s squared. Right, so that is from here. So the entire total of the circle. So now that we have this, we are just gonna be solving for the area of the cone. So here, you know, the two cancels with the two, the pi with the pi. And now I'm gonna bring this over so I can multiply both sides by pi s squared on both sides. So that will cancel this out here and now on this right hand side I'm gonna get pi all right this is gonna be R s squared all over s that's my area of the cone notice now you have an s at the bottom so that's gonna cancel one of those s's and there you go you have your area of a cone which is derived from proportions of circumferences to the areas of basically this figure. All right, that's what you have. So if you take this away, now you know that you've took a fraction away of the area and a, the same fraction away from the circumference. And I've used now proportions here of the cone and the total. Now, if you understood this, amazing, okay? Now, this is not an easy concept to understand. Don't feel bad. I myself had to really think about this of like, okay, how does this actually work? All right. So, you know, I hope that you can walk through this. If you get it, thumbs up, you can put a comment. Okay. Let me know if you understood it. But overall, this is where you can or how you can derive the area of that cone. Okay. So that area of the, the cone itself there. And we're just talking about the top piece. That's the pi rs. Okay, so I'll give uh, some examples in future videos, okay, on kind of a, a test that's going to be created on this set of chapters. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, we'll see you in a future video.